Now, when I'm doing modeling sessions with customers to understand the most important information that they actually want users to see first and foremost, often, and I'm sure all the other consultants who are on the call will agree with this, it seems that the answer is almost always everything. And in some ways, that's what the old layout was trying to do, especially with this central timeline that contains a log of the key records and activities that are associated with the records you're on, in this case, the work order. But it can lead to a very busy form that a lot of people find very user unfriendly because you have to scroll down to access all of that information. As you can see on this particular screenshot, it's cut off. You can't see everything there. So what Microsoft's aim was with this new work order experience is to simplify how you create, manage and schedule work orders to provide more in key information in one place at a glance where you can quickly update the fields as well. And as again, you can see here, literally everything is all just in that one view. To achieve this, it was necessary to move the timeline to its own tab. And as you can see, it's now one, two, three, four along. It means that there's a lot more room to filter by record or activity and actually see the results alongside, which you couldn't actually do before. So I think it's a great improvement personally myself. And you'd think with all this additional room, you would also have seen some new functionality on that timeline. And indeed, there is a new timeline count that shows the number of notes in the timeline which when I was first looking at this back in February, it seemed a bit strange to me, given that as soon as you actually click on and select one of these options, as you can see, you've got the numbers next to them. You've already actually got that count there and you can filter it down by just selecting on, on one of the, the filter options you've got there. 